so hello friends welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to grow balsam uh, from seeds so uh, today only i have uploaded a video in bengali in which i have shown you how to grow uh, balsam uh, how to not how to grow i have grown in front of you how to means grown uh, balsam so today i am going to show you how to grow balsam because in january it is season for uh, us to plant some seeds so i'm going to start with balsam and i am going to uh, plant this in a fertile soil because uh, i will let them bloom in that so part particular pot only because when i will see the different colors then i will uh, transplant them because that we can do that what we can do only with balsam so uh, i will share with that later but now for the timing i'm going to show you how to plant balsam so i have some uh, hybrid balsam as well as some uh, uh, what to say um, open pollinated balsam seeds uh, that i have got free and that one i have bought so i'm going to grow them i don't know about the germination rate because means for that because but but uh, i have grown balsam for many years and <laughs> i have got success and i'm going to share you all the thing that i have done to grow balsam so for the soil i have taken some soil you can see this is normal garden soil so i have mixed some leaf compost with it and it is very fertile okay now but i'm not going to grow it in uh, this one this soil i'm going to grow uh, balsam in cocoa peat so the cocoa peat also have mixed with some leaf compost so you can see this this is cocoa peat so why i am using cocoa peat and what to do if you are not having cocoa peat number one point you can buy it online because i buy it online i do not get cocoa peat in any our of our area but what if you do, I, if i don't want to use cocoa peat what to do you can use normal garden soil and you can use the same proportion of sand with the soil means one part of garden soil one part of so, uh, sand and one part of leaf compost make one uh, mixture of all the three and you can do the same way i am doing so here at the beginning i have got this soil this one so at first i'm going to fill everything up with this cocoa peat and leaf compost mixture because they will give a very nice and why i am you i am using cocoa peat i'm telling you because i do not get time to water uh, every time all my uh, seeds and i forgot sometimes also so cocoa peat remains moist for a longer period of time and that helps in germination very fast so that's the only reason i am using cocoa peat so here i have cocoa peat done <coughs> a layer of cocoa peat i have given and now then i am going to just sprinkle the seeds you can see this is the seeds i'm not going to promote any band i am not telling any land is bad or good uh, i don't want to give in that just here i have the seeds last year i have grown this uh, seeds and i have got all red flowers i think i think i have forgotten totally but here you can see so i'm just going to sprinkle it haphazardly because many many of the, since these are from the last seed um, last year seeds they may not germinate and if they do not germinate also I will in the same way only I'm going to uh, plant the seeds that I have collected from my plants so if possible I will make a Bengali video on that I think uh, I'm not sure about that but I will not get disappointed this year because I have my seeds that I have collected so they will be nice they have to be nice so here I'm going to cut this off So here you can see the seeds are so I'm just going to sprinkle everything and 
these are the open uh, coagulated uh, ones and i don't know what color i will get so i will let everything every plant to bloom at first and then i will transplant so this is the only thing uh, that we can do with balsam means only <laughs> means not only thing with balsam means only balsam can tolerate such kind of behavior from us other plants will not do such well if you are if you transplant them late but you can see how many seeds i have grown so why i have grown so many seeds because uh, you can see everywhere over here all these are going to die up when the temperature will uh, reach uh, above 35 degrees uh, celsius then all these pots will be filled up with this balsam and sunflowers only because i like them very much in summer so i have some seeds left in it and then we just going to and now next what to do is i'm just going to cover it cover the seeds with a good layer of same coco peat and leaf compost layer so leaf compost is necessary to use because you either leaf compost or vermi compost because do not use uh, cow dung compost because it is very if it is not decomposed very uh, good it is not well decomposed then it may um, attack means it may not be good for the seedlings so do not um, use cow dung compost for this in this case uh, use vermi compost or leaf compost so they are light in weight also so good layer of all the thing and not very much uh, but coco peat is lighter in weight so um, it will the seeds will come out and now it's time to water them so now i'm just going to spray water over it just i'm going to keep everything moist and now where to keep them either in sunlight or uh, shade so I am going to keep them in shade because I have seen I have grown balsam in both sunlight and uh, shade but the ones I have kept in sunlight didn't came out very well uh, means one to two seedlings came out and the same uh, seeds when I have grown in shade all of them came out so I think balsam requires shade to grow so I will keep it in shade not indoors maybe but in shade so just I'm going to sprinkle water and until and unless everything comes out, we have to keep everything moist. So I'm going to uh, give water very well. And the reason that I am using uh, coco peat that that. It can, I have told you already that it can hold moisture for a longer period of time, which is essential for mm, the seeds to germinate. So, I think it's, uh, I think you have understood how to grow the seeds of uh, balsam. I will show you wait because I will show you how, where I am keeping the seeds. For the fertilizers, I will tell you that if you want uh, faster germination, I think the liquid fertilizer will help. But uh, once the seedling starts to grow, you should add fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, every 15 days because uh, you have you have seen that how many plants I have grown. So they all will require same uh, a good amount of nutrients to uh, to survive, isn't it? So for that nutrients, I will give via uh, liquid fertilizer that amount of nutrients so you can see i'm still adding water until and unless the water comes out uh, of the soil uh, pot means from the base of the pot because the soil was also very dry so i'm going to water it fully and i'm going to show you so i think i have watered the uh, seeds uh, enough and I am going to tell you something that I will make a growing series also means it is the first uh, video of my growing series and I hope that I will get time to make a playlist on that uh, I am going to show you how to grow the seeds of sunflower also I will also give you the updates also uh, 
because I have experience with them, I have grown them from seeds earlier, so I know that they will come up like this only. And if they don't come up, uh, come up, then uh, there is something wrong with the seeds. So that's the point only, because the, the same uh, means I have grown a sunflower uh, a few days back, uh, but nothing came out from that. So. Uh, and I could uh, the surprising uh, thing that when I have uh, dug the uh, soil, I have uh, got the seeds. So they were empty from inside. Means nothing was there. So it means that uh, the seeds were not in a good state. And so I am going to show you that you can see this from the hole. The water is coming out. It means the uh, whole soil is moist now. So. Now I am going to keep it in shade, so I am going to show, uh, show you where I am going to keep it. So I am going to take just taking it up, it is quite heavy because of the soil that I had and here where I have the liquid fertilizer and everything, I am going to keep it over here. So here it will not get any sunlight but means direct sunlight but it will get bright light uh, because of this mango tree up over here you can see this and this area doesn't get sunlight at all you can see there all my cuttings are growing I've grown uh, cuttings of oleander and some hibiscus in water simple plain water so if I get the uh, I will show the show you the results and then I will make a video on that so here I have this thing so that's why I'm uh, going to make such videos because uh, some things I miss on making videos so I've decided to work on every means make video of every work that I do so here everything is like this you can see and hope you will like this video and in this way you can grow your balsams also same way in, if you have coco peat and if you do not have coco peat uh, feel free to use the soil mix but make sure to make uh, keep it moist because it will contain uh, a good amount of sand in it and sand will immediately drain out all the soil uh, means all the uh, water that you give so make sure to keep your uh, soil really moist and i will see you in my next video so thanks a lot for watching this video and before going see the condition of the cinderella plant you can see i have number of birds over here also so they will bloom sh uh, shortly in a few days and there i have some tomatoes you can see that and okay thanks a lot for watching this video